Hi Libra, I'm here to do a reading for you. This reading is just going to focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be aware that the messages may or may not resonate to your situation. Only take the messages if they resonate. Okay, Libra, so let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What does Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus need to know at this time? Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have here lavender. Surround yourself with love. Absolutely. This is number 19, Libra. So your birthday could be October the 19th. Okay. You can have three friends or two really close friends that you love a lot. Or these friends love you a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and read number 19, which is surround yourself with love. It, please excuse that train, y'all. I thought me doing my readings earlier would avoid the trains, obviously. <laughs> it's not. But let's see. It says, surround yourself with people who make you feel like the best version of yourself. People you can trust with anything in the world. Maybe you've been distancing yourself from your found family or maybe you haven't discovered your found family yet. You need to make an effort here. Go out there and reconnect or make new connections. Absolutely. You, you could be distancing yourself from your friends. And they could be wondering, like, why Libra don't want to come out? You know? It's okay, Libra. You know? I just feel like, uh, I don't know, Libra. You just could be wanting to be to yourself. But the Holy Spirit is saying it's important for you to surround yourself with love at this time. There are people who love you that miss you here. I want to see you, Libra. So let's just see. Tell me more for Libra. You could be eating popcorn. You like to eat popcorn. Okay. We have here the Four of Wands. Mm. You could be having issues in your relationship. We have here the Five of Swords. And we have here the Nine of Pentacles. This is Virgo energy. Um, I'm going to take the card at the top. And then we have here the Queen of Swords. Okay. So you could be having issues in your relationship. Maybe you contemplate and being single. You feel stuck in a relationship. That may be why you holding back. This is kind of similar to Virgo reading. So you could have a Virgo that you're dealing with or Virgo in your chart. But yeah, I feel like you could be feeling stuck. Well, we have here the Queen of Pentacles. So you this is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo energy. Maybe you want to heal something with the earth sign or earth sign wants to heal something with you here. Maybe you just, you don't know whether or not you want to be single from someone. You could be dealing with a Capricorn specifically or a Taurus or a Virgo. There's a lot of um, petty energy. I'm getting like either competitive or petty type energy in this relationship. I feel like... The discussions, the discussions are becoming heated. It's like you guys sit down and try to talk, but it always in a, in a heated type of discussion or a heated debate. You could be dealing with two different energies here. Someone here could be narcissistic, because this six of wands doesn't mean that. But I don't know why I'm getting that here. Because somebody could gaslight you or some shit, or this could be what the hell you doing. Um, Libra, so I don't know. Let's go ahead and clarify. What is the four of wands here for Libra? What is the four of wands for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit? We have your jealous and we have your loving. So somebody here could be jealous of your loving relationship maybe this was a friend that distanced themselves from you here because they may be jealous of your relationship or somebody in this relationship is jealous of the way you're loved here the way people love you this could be somebody you're in a relationship with that's jealous what is this five of swords here we have your secret enemies and we have here earth angel you're an earth angel and i feel like 
This, these secret enemies are being exposed. But we have here pretending and we have here evil eye. So somebody here could be pretending to care about you, pretending to be there for you, pretending to support you. But this person really sending you the evil eye. It could be a queen of swords, a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. This could be you, Libra. Hopefully it's not you. What is this queen of swords? And we have here level up and we have here happiness. So no, this is somebody doing this to you. You're leveling up. You're happy. I feel like you did, either this is somebody you disconnected from or you became single in a relationship that you felt stuck in. You're holding back from this person. You're moving on towards your nine of pentacles to make the ten of pentacles here. You're leveling up. You're happy now without this person. I feel like you are surrounding yourself with people who actually love you here, Libra. What is this nine of pentacles? Yeah, self-love. You probably getting a new car. You're, sur you're surrounding yourself with people who love you. That really love you. I feel like you, you distance yourself from this relationship here. Or this could be you distance yourself from somebody who was jealous of your relationship. But I feel like this was somebody who was you were in a relationship with who was actually jealous of you, which is so weird to me. How can somebody that you see every day, you sleep with every day, be jealous of you, pretending to love you, pretending to be supportive of you, but then in their actions though, with this tit for tat type of hateful ass shit that this person was doing here. Let's get one more card. We have here bad intentions and trust. Like, trust you made this, the right decision with, with this people because somebody here really had bad intentions. This could have been a lover. This could have been a friend. But whoever this was, you put distance between you and this person. Or it's, it's distance is needed. Yeah, because this person is a damn energy vampire. And I feel like they were affecting your money, affecting your ability to manifest wealth in your life. And wealth can not only mean material wealth with the Nine of Pentacles, but it can or emotional, spiritual, mental health here. Somebody was like effing up your mental health with this fabul sword, hateful, competitive energy, and it's somebody that you're supposed to love and support you. No, I'm not done, baby. So let's get some advice. Wait a minute, baby. Cause I don't know what you're talking about, honey. Oh, Logan singing. Okay, I'm doing my reading though, baby. So give me a. Wait. <laughs> Y'all come get this child. No, because you're not listening to me. I said wait. Wait till I'm done, Mama. We are smacking y'all. Come get her. Come get this child. Pray for me, y'all. <laughs> Let's see here. What advice do you have for Libra? Libra, Samuel, rather than Venus, Holy Spirit. Oh, we got a lot coming out. I'm not going to take it. Let me cut the deck and see what's at the bottom. We have here Believe. Absolutely. I love, love this card with the unicorn up here. She riding a unicorn. Can y'all see it? So this is number 51, okay? You could be 51 years old. You could... I don't know. You could be flying somewhere, like taking a flight or booking a flight. But 51... It says, your struggling phase is over. There's magic in the air, enhancing your energy and giving you awesome advantages. Absolutely. Since you distance yourself from this damn energy vampire, your energy is enhancing. Okay? Set your expectations higher than ever before and know that you can realize your dreams. Focus your thoughts and feelings on what is good about your life. This gives you the confidence to achieve greatness in anything you choose. Believe in miracles because you are one. Absolutely. Listen, Libra. Absolutely. Okay? And there's an affirmation. I am accomplishing my goals with grace and ease. I believe in myself. Absolutely. It doesn't matter who doesn't believe in you. As long as you believe in you. People will try to compete with you. They may feel like they're winning. Listen. They can be winning. 
Both of y'all can win. It's like, I don't understand why people be so freaking competitive when there's enough love and abundance for everyone. So believe in yourself. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Okay? So I'm going to end this reading with my Angels of Abundance card to see what you need to know here. I really like this deck, y'all. This is a new deck I just got from Amazon. It's called Angels of Abundance. It's very affordable, and I really, really like the messages on the card. So let's just see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. It says clearing debts. Absolutely. It says your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debts from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well. So this is very important. Um, yeah, you're clearing out debts in your life. This could be emotional or um, financial debts. Okay, but know that all things are possible. You can see a debt being cleared out of nowhere. You don't even know how it happened because you didn't even pay it, but it's cleared. Okay, Libra. So let me pull one more. I just want to. Yeah, we have here face your financial fears. It says when you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you will realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear. And the and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Absolutely. Because, you know, some people literally have a fear of success. Or a fear of failure. But whatever side of the coin you're on, or you could be on both sides. Just know that by you realizing, okay, I have this fear. How can I release it? Pray about it. You can have two children, okay, to a boy and a girl. But just know that the angels, the Holy Spirit, the divine source is here to assist you to face these financial fears that you may have at this time, Libra, okay? So, I really hope that these messages help you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Libra. Bye.